<laughs> That's a big ass hole. Alright, uh, welcome back to the channel everyone. So, you know, thanks for everybody that's subscribing and watching and uh, hopefully one day we'll have this thing making pass us soon. Uh, the goal is to have it done this fall, so we'll see. I was hoping to have it done last fall, so we're a little behind with the goals, but uh, we'll keep at it. But uh, if you watched the last video, got the intercooler installed, got the radiator kind of installed, uh, still got to build some bottom bracing for that stuff, but uh, and we finished that video off trying to figure out the turbo mount, which I think I had it sorted out, but needed some help getting it welded. So uh, earlier in the week, got the wife out here. She held some stuff while I got some stuff tacked up. So that's welded in. So uh, I'll show you what I got going on there. We've got the turbo mounted up. And plan for this video is to get the hot side and the cold side figured out and hopefully all tacked together. And uh, depending on how well it goes, we might even get it finished welded. So uh, I'll show you what we got going on and we'll get after it. So uh, thanks for watching. All right, so uh, here's what we're working with. Uh, we got the turbo. It's the VS Racing 7875 Gen 2.5 with a 125 exhaust housing. But anyway, that's if you're interested in turbo, but it's billet wheel, so it looks pretty cool. And then uh, it'll blow straight into the intercooler. And uh, I made a mount here, which uh, we're gonna final trim this once everything's finalized. So uh, you can see, we'll just come off here to here. And then we'll come from this guy over to this guy and then uh probably put a blow off valve right here in the merge and just have the blow off valve right here and then we'll just point it down is my thinking uh may cut a hole in the fender for the blow off valve may not and then uh right here we should have our four inch exhaust which uh should be able to hopefully go up and through right here and not be in the way so still gotta make sure that's okay and but yeah so cautious optimistic that's gonna work uh would really like to know make sure the front tire is gonna clear but i don't think it'll be an issue it may be an issue with some exhaust but uh yeah so this is what we're gonna work with so we're gonna get the hot side and cold side figured out and then uh save the exhaust for another day all right after thinking of talking about our exhaust i was kind of worried about my tire hitting it which is going to be close uh i really can't tell right now this is extension this is ex the front suspension fully extended so it's going to come up some more but i think as long as i come up with a 45 right from the get-go i should be all right uh if not we can always come this way we should be able to come this way and that way I know that's pretty tight right there. So this part that stinks because uh, I'm fixing to do a whole lot of work on this hot side and then I'm gonna be kind of worried about this. But I think there's enough room. I guess if nothing else, we can just shoot out the fender, right? Just boonk. We can go out the fender, worst case, which wouldn't be ideal, but maybe we can shoot it out, come up and shoot it out this way. Uh, because my plan is to have a four inch on a loud valve or something, a exhaust cut out, and then I'm gonna do two and a half inch, a single two and a half inch out and down just for neighborhood neighborhood driving. Because I'm in residential, so they kind of frown upon. I don't wanna be that guy. But anyway, so we'll uh, get this figured out and make a decision and forge ahead. All right, just to give myself some peace of mind, I've got some, just a piece of one inch and got it flush. Can you see that? I got it flush against the turbo flange and you can see it just barely hits the tire. So I think we should be good. I mean, that'll be full lock. I don't think, you know, and that gives me an inch to play with. So hopefully I need to measure that out and see if it necks down in diameter quick, but I think we'll be all right. So we're gonna go ahead with it. So. You'll see in a few videos if I regret my decision. So went ahead and got the intake where it needs to be. Got the, the silicone adapter for the intake. Got my old radiator hose on, which it's too long, but it'll work for, you know, 
mock up so you can tell how crowded it's getting so i gotta have a hot side come from this side to this side missing the cold side that's got to come to the cold side has to come around to here hot side's got to go to this side got to have two radiator hoses so right in this area which you can see it's only you know a hands width i got to get a hot side part of a cold side and two radiator hoses so gonna do some thinking and looking and uh then we'll get at it which i'm thinking exhaust pipe right here on this plane so we'll do the exhaust on this plane that way the cold side can just come above it and i got to keep this below the hood too right so it's probably got to be more angled down so we might have to chop this off and but anyway i'll do some thinking and figuring show you what i come up with all right so i'm going to try to reuse my turbo flange instead of buying a new one uh i got to get that bolt out which that'll be pretty easy but that one's kind of smashed in there that bottom one it's kind of hard to see but uh we're gonna try to get this out so i can reuse this flange. all right so got this thing rough cut it's kind of fun looking at my my fab skills from five years ago when i put this thing together maybe it was six seven years ago i don't know but uh it never leaked or broke so it was working so uh we're gonna finish getting this cut up and uh then start making a new one all right so we got a cut uh i'm gonna make sure this thing is still flat from the wreck and then uh, once i make sure it's flat i'll take to the take the grinder to it and get that ground off and then we'll start making yeah anyway all right so we've got it ground up and got all the old stuff out probably do a little bit more grinding on just to clean up the edges and i'll call that good enough and then uh we'll get this bolted to the turbo and we'll start mocking up pipes so uh this is what i got for the hot side so i just got me some two and a quarter inch j bins which hopefully we'll have to see that'll be enough if i don't make one or two mistakes i think i'll probably make one mistake and still have enough but uh if i make more than one things might get ugly right, so but, got uh, the old turbo flange hacked up and ready to repurpose so i got it bolted up got the turbo everything's looking good need to put my cover back on to protect my wheel and then uh got one of my j bends out just kind of eyeballing it i think it'll be best just to come up here it'll be close to the intake and close to the top radiator hose but if i try to go in the middle it kind of goes and then if i tried to go down low it would mess with the bottom radiator hose and it would make it really complicated right here if i came in low and then had to do a whole bunch of weird bends here so i think i'm just going to keep everything on top kind of run it through here to that guy so we'll do some chopping over there and get that guy turned this way have this one come across and then they'll have this one come out here and they'll merge right there and make lots of happy boost so we got this first side tacked up and cut so you can see it goes there this pipe got a little funky shaped in the wreck it did kind of make it oblong so it's a little funky on the edges but i got to fit up the best i could uh, i don't have a belt sander or anything so it's kind of hard for me to get good perfect fit ups i can get okay ones but not great ones but uh here's my dilemma so if you look down here you can see how close we're coming to the water pump and how i'd rather have more gap here i think than on the water pump because at least this always has water going through it so that's my kind of my thought there and a little more air gap here but those gaps will be much smaller once i have exhaust wrap on here so i may not wrap this section and just leave it open i don't know because i don't want it touching and i think with exhaust wrap it'll definitely probably touch so it's tough man uh i just don't have room and if i go down i gotta miss the alternator and stuff uh i just kind of stuck that in there my plan is kind of have this one come up and stay a little high and go to the merge and then this one will just connect here and come in low at the merge and then we'll build us a merge and they'll just both kind of blow in there and but i'm gonna think a little bit because that is 
a little closer than what I was hoping I could get, but really, I don't see because I, you know, the alternator's going to go there, so I can't go down because then their alternator's going to be in the way. If I come in the middle right here, I'm super close to the water pump and the fans, and then I'm in between two. You know, then I've got this radiator hose and this radiator hose. So I'm gonna go do some, maybe do some YouTubing and see how much of an air gap I need between the water pump and exhaust. Uh, on my last one, my exhaust was really close to the water pump here. So I think I'm just gonna roll with this and we'll let, hopefully the big radiator can take all the heat. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you where I'm at. We'll keep at it. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and build the merge. So I went ahead and took off the flange to go over to the workbench and uh i'll show you uh, how i'm going to build the merge i don't know if there's a i'm sure <laughs> there's a better way it'd be really nice to just buy one but uh, uh i'm just going to make it and uh we'll see how it turns out if i fail badly i'll just buy one all right so i got an assortment of hammers files junk in the way but uh what we got here is what i did is i just got some this is a two and a half inch that was just slash cut and then i uh, just put it on its side on the anvil and beat on it with my ball peen until i made it kind of a rectangle and then the plan is i don't know if i can show you while well, i'm holding the camera but well, we're gonna put it in hold on so we get it in it fits like yay uh and then i'm gonna tack it on the sides and then I'll use my cutoff wheel and we'll cut this and then we'll beat it into shape. And we'll beat these corners so the gap's a little bit better. And uh, then we'll have a two and a half inch T4 merge. And then the plan is I'll run my two, two and a quarter pipes into this guy. And we'll figure that out when we get there. All right, so I went over to the wire wheel, got everything ground up and ready to tack. So, uh, actually, I need to go a little higher on this part. I did the nose, but it sticks out. All this will get cut off. Ooh, all this will get cut off. Let me go clean up that, and then we'll tack the sides real good because they're fit tight, and then we'll do some finagling and beating around these edges and get it to fill up the gaps, and then we'll uh, finish about this guy, and then we'll go see about if it's going to fit on the car. All right, so... Uh, did some weld on the hot side, we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, cold side, so turbos go blown in intercooler, come out, hit a 90, and then an aluminum 90. Then I cut this right here, we'll weld this. So we'll just have the one weld to do, and then end it intake. So cold side's super simple, and uh, pretty much done. I do, so I do have a meth injection set up, so I will drill a hole somewhere in here. and. Drill and tap that for the meth nozzle. But uh, other than that, that's looking good. Hot side, I got the merge. Man, ran into some junk. Got really, really ugly. Uh, okay here and okay right here, but then lots of trash right here. I don't know, I thought I had it clean enough, but uh, you know, when you reuse old junk, sometimes you have issues. So I'm gonna grind that down and see if I can get it welded without it bubbling on me, cause that's just gonna be a small exhaust leak if I leave it like it is. But uh, so you can kind of see that's going to, we're going to cut this shorter and then we'll have this guy come in like so. And then this guy, we'll probably have him come in and we'll just kind of meet up somewhere there and we'll just cut a big oval out and get that going in there is my thought. And then we'll probably do the blow off valve like right here. I mean the wastegate, not the blow off valve, but I'll do a wastegate right here. Yeah, that's something else I gotta think about. I gotta think about a blow off valve. Which uh, I never ran with one before, you know? The the thought before was it was automatic, really didn't need one. And uh, But with it being a five speed, definitely gotta run a blow off valve. So uh, I gotta figure out where to put that to. So once I get that welded up, then we'll figure out a blow off valve, which probably put it right here maybe. Or we'll probably just put it right here and have it shoot out the fender. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. So uh, yeah, so let me get this trimmed down and uh, we'll get some, get this cut so we can kind of figure this out. 
and then we'll get our other part cut for that and get that figured out. So making good progress. Uh, just kind of wish I could have that weld back, but oh well. All right, so I went ahead and did a pretty good bead on both sides. And uh, now we're gonna start beating the gaps out. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, did some weld on the hot side. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, cold side, so turbo's go blown in intercooler. Come out, hit a 90. And then an aluminum 90. Then I cut this right here, we'll weld this. So we'll just have the one weld to do. And then end of the intake. So cold side's super simple. And uh, pretty much done, I do. So I do have a meth injection set up. So I will drill a hole somewhere in here and drill and tap that for the meth nozzle. But uh, other than that, that's looking good. Hot side, I got the merge. Man, ran into some junk. Got really, really ugly. Uh, okay here and okay right here but then lots of trash right here i don't know i thought i had it clean enough but uh you know when you reuse old junk sometimes you have issues so i'm gonna grind that down and see if i can get it welded without it bubbling on me because that's just gonna be a small exhaust leak if i leave it like it is but uh so you can kind of see that's gonna we're gonna cut this shorter and then we'll have this guy come in like so and then this guy We'll probably have him come in and we'll just kind of meet up somewhere there and we'll just cut a big oval out and get that going in there is my thought and then we'll probably do the blow off valve like right here i mean the wastegate not the blow off valve i'll do a wastegate right here and that's something else i gotta think about i gotta think about a blow off valve which uh i never ran with one before you know the the thought before was it was automatic really didn't need one and uh but with it being a five speed definitely got to run a bolo off valve so uh i gotta figure out where to put that too so once i get that welded up then we'll figure out a blow off valve which probably put it right here maybe or we'll probably just put it right here and have it shoot out the fender i don't know yet but uh we'll figure that out so uh yeah so let me get this trimmed down and uh we'll get some get this cut so we can kind of figure this out and then we'll get our other part cut for that and get that figured out. So making good progress. Uh, just kind of wish I could have that weld back, but oh well. All right, so it's getting cluttery up here, but uh, I gotta stop and fix some stuff. But uh, so here's the plan. So got the passenger side mocked up. So got a bar here, a tube here, a tube here, and then here. So this is two and a half inch and this is two and a quarter. And then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna weld this up. So this whole side will be done. And then this side is gonna come and merge under here like so. So I think I'll get this welded up. This the passenger side welded up. Then I'll take it off and we'll cut this and get it in here. And then we'll figure out how to connect it. And hopefully I can keep it halfway straight. So it would be okay. But I have one little bend I can put in it if I need to. But I think I'll just, I'm showing you this, but uh, I'm going to use a straight piece, just a small straight piece and put it in there. And then we'll just hook the 90 to that. And we'll just try to set it up so we can go shoop and then 90 into it is the hope. And then the wastegate will probably go like right here. The what I'm thinking. We'll just put a wastegate stump right here off to the side. And hopefully with the merge being right there, it'll be able to bleed off enough. Because right here would be the best spot for it. But uh, it's too big to go there, I think. I still may check it, but uh, I don't think it'll go there with the hood and stuff. So we'll have to put it on the side. All right, so took it all apart and uh, took it over to the wire wheel bench grinder and got it all wire wheeled so it should weld decent. So uh, pretty happy with my fit up. That's probably the, I don't know if that'll focus, but that's probably the best I've done fitting up. I'm usually not that good. So we'll take it and like I said, we'll go get this one welded up and uh, then we'll take it off and we'll get the other side spliced in the merge and go from there. Got the passenger side off and working on the merge. So I took this guy and got him ground up how I want him. And then he's gonna sit right here. Oops. So he'll sit right there. And uh, I wanted these to be parallel which it's pretty close uh i'm probably gonna tweak it a little more 
just to get this uh this angle a little more matched to that one you can see they're off just a little bit i don't know but uh so let me grind it a little bit more and then uh, we'll test fit it again and then we'll get all this cut out and then that's going to get welded there and we'll have a merge so yeah it's coming along all right so quite a few days have passed since we've been working on the car just had some stuff to deal with uh i am going to redo the hot side a little bit if you saw where it was really close up under the throttle body i decided i didn't like that so i've ordered some more parts so we're waiting on that but we'll, while we're waiting we're gonna go ahead and finish up the cold side so i got this is the only weld i really need to do is this guy so i've got it marked so i want to clean up everywhere except for where my marks are get some tacks then i'll clean this up good uh, i don't actually have any acetone so i stole the wife's fingernail polish remover because it's number one ingredient is acetone so we're going to see if that cleans up the aluminum good enough before i weld so uh, i'm going to get this stuff cleaned up wiped down and then i'll get the tig welder set up for some aluminum welding and uh we'll see how it goes all right so punch and sharpen so uh punch and sharpen so now we'll get it in the torch and uh get these tacks on here all right so uh got my pipes I was really hoping to stand them up and weld them up, you know, get them tacked together like this. But uh, this could be really problematic with uh, the ground cable. So uh, I'm going to probably have to stack some stuff to get them to hold on my little workbench here. But uh, I'll get it set up and then I'll show you before I tack them, get them tacked, and then we'll get to welding. All right, so one flaw here is I'm left-handed. I'm going to try to do these tacks right-handed. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how this turns out. It's probably not going to be the best, but we'll see. All right, so they didn't go so bad. I got two tacks, which I think that'll be good enough now so I can move it around and uh, go find my welding helmet and uh, some welding rod. Yeah. All right, so uh, let me get my shelving marks cleaned up and then we'll get to welding. <laughs> One of my tacks just broke. That's not a good sign. Anyway. Make sure the welding rod's clean, so we'll get at it. That's a big asshole. Let me go double check my settings on my welder. I must have it too high for this little stuff. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, so we went ahead and finished this thing up as a test. I'll end up redoing it eventually, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but ooh, it's ugly but uh i wouldn't call it welded but it is melted together <laughs> but anyway uh we're gonna get this back on the car and just continue mocking up uh amazon just dropped off the parts i need uh to hopefully maybe finish up the hot side so uh let me get over there and we'll get this pipe put back in i'll show you what we got going on and wouldn't you know it the ugliest part of it would have to be right up on top <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so review of the cold side here we got the turbo blows straight into the intercooler comes out of the intercooler with a 90 goes into the aluminum goes up to my ugly weld and goes into the intake so uh if you're watching the earlier videos i had the hot side going in right here and i just decided that was way too close to my boot and it would probably just end up melting it so i ordered me a few more bins on Amazon and also went ahead and got a flex joint just to get in. Uh, it'll help me a little bit because I can 
have a little wiggle room, but also it's probably a good idea to have a good flex joint. So uh, the plan now is to go down here and like yay. So I have this guy here. Let me put this camera down. I'll get it positioned and then I can show you better. Sorry if that hurt your ears. All right, so here it is in all its glory. So uh, got this coming out, going into a flex joint, and then it goes down away from my intake, which you saw earlier in the video, I had it up here, which I didn't like. So I've got it dipping down, and it comes across. I had to do a few little pie cuts right there, and then it joins up with another pie cut over there. Uh, only thing I'm not, it is a little bit closer to the fan than I wanted. Uh, when I was mocking it up, I had this pipe up higher. You know, it's dipping down pretty low below the radiator. I had it up higher when I was mocking it up, but all my pie cuts kind of drove it lower, and I didn't notice until I got it all figured out. So I'm going to think about it and see if I want to change it or if I'm going to roll with it being close to my fan because I don't think I can get any more room, really. And it's probably about a quarter of an inch off the fan. You really can't see it. And then uh, cold side, I gotta decide if I'm gonna redo it or not, cause whoo, that's ugly. But I kinda leave it there and then it'll just distract everybody else from all the rest of the car. <laughs> so uh, last thing to do is the wastegate for the hot side, which I'm pretty sure the wastegate's gonna go right here, which I have the OVS racing from the Denma kit. So I think it's gonna go right there. And then I can just throw the exhaust out the fender or something. But uh, that's going to be the plan, but uh, I'm going to think about this a little bit, and if I'm happy, I'm going to probably weld as much as I can in place. I've got the flex joint, so I don't really have to worry about it not fitting up. So anyway, I'll tag it up a little bit better, and then uh, take it all apart, and we'll get it welded up. So I uh, went and had some lunch and thought about it a little bit, and uh, we're going to roll with it. So uh, I believe there's enough clearance there for the fan. Uh, hopefully I'm right. We'll see. And if not, you know, it's just going to melt the fan a little shouldn't be a big problem right and uh so we're gonna get after this uh so I'm, my plan is just to we'll go ahead and end the video here there's uh, really no need for you to watch uh my ugly welding <laughs> so uh we'll get this thing together and uh get it i'm gonna weld the top half in the car and then take it apart and weld the uh, bottom half outside and uh then we'll get it make sure it still fits and then we're going to blow this thing apart and uh for the next video we'll pull the motor transmission get all the flywheel stuff done and then weld up all the holes in the flywheel and the flywheel then weld up all the holes in the firewall and then we'll hopefully put the motor transmission back in for the last time which will be pretty cool and then uh, we'll start figuring out some other stuff but all the big stuff now i believe is done since the hot sides made uh you know i got a ton of piddly stuff still got the rear floor i guess that's a big thing so uh we'll be looking at flooring options and uh some transmission tunnels too so uh We'll get after it, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, drop some comments, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.